Hey my friends, Barry Burns here with Top Dog Trading and today I'm answering a question that came in. As you know, a few weeks ago I did a video asking you to send any questions in and one of the questions that came in by quite a few viewers actually was, hey Barry, how can we compete in the markets against things like high frequency trading, algos, quants, I mean, isn't it just a whole different market now and the little guy like us, we can't really compete against all that technology, all that brain power? Great question. You're right, the markets have changed dramatically and they continue to change and they will always continue to change. They say the only constant is change. So, uh, great question and the answer is we can still make money. So I don't like to really look at it as competing against them, but they'll play a certain game and we can play a different game and we can still make money. So for example, uh, HFTs, high frequency traders. No, we can't compete against them. There's just no way. They're not really, I don't even know if I consider them traders. It's all about technology. It's all about speed. And no, they uh, dedicate so much time and energy and money that we just can't afford the kind of technology that they have. So no, can't compete against them. That's fine. Let them have their money. Uh, we're trading in a different time frame. So, but what about some, well, quants? What about quants? Okay, so quants is an interesting one because quants are supposed to be, you know, genius people, mathematicians and statisticians and programmers who create these amazing algos and, you know, super uber smart people and there's just no way we could compete against them, right? And then they program all that stuff in and well, yeah, you know what? we could still make money even though they're in the marketplace. In fact, you may not know this, but let me refer you to a little article here. This is uh, Barron's, an article in Barron's magazine. Actually, it's on their website and you can find it yourself. Look it up, uh, barrons.com in the article section. And this was published uh, January 23rd of this year, 2020. So here's what they say. There was some research done and it says, all three major market indexes hit record highs in 2019, which made it all the more challenging for active fund managers to beat the market. Now, here's where the interesting thing comes in. Among the biggest losers, the biggest losers, not just losers, biggest losers were quant funds. Those run by computer algorithms analyzing large sets of data. So they were the biggest losers. Wow. So I just want to let you know this, that don't think that you can't uh, make money because they're on the other side of your trades and there's no way we can compete. In fact, it goes on and uh, says their underperformance will likely continue in 2020. And let's see, it goes on here. Oh. Bernstein's sample of long only quant mutual funds underperformed their benchmarks by more than two percentage points on average last year. And that's before fees. That's before fees. So these funds, remember, they make a lot of their money with their fees. And so that's just pure market returns. The disappointing uh, run wasn't skewed by a few bad apples. That's another important uh, aspect to look at. Well, maybe there was just a few anomalies here and there. Nope, that's not what happened at all. It was pervasive, the article says. McCarthy noted that only 32% of the funds managed to outrun their benchmarks in 2019, while an even lower share, 20%, did so in 2018. So 2019 was not an anomaly either. The quants underperformed in 2018 as well. And by even more of them did, more of them did. So, and that says quant hedge funds have suffered even more. <laughs> so I could go on, go read the article yourself if you'd like to, it's very interesting. Point is, don't use that as an excuse. Don't think you can't compete, that you can't make money in the market now because of algos and quants and HTFs and all that kind of stuff, um, or HFTs. Uh, you can still make money. There's a lot of us doing it and I can't guarantee that you will. Right. That's I don't know who you are. I don't know what your your mental disposition is. Uh, some people are built mentally for trading. Some are not. And so I can't guarantee that any one individual will make money. But I am saying that it's possible and there are still a lot of us doing it. 
and we don't have fancy quants and algos and all that kind of stuff. And by the way, here's another really important point. Uh, there's a lot of marketing stuff out there that uh, says, oh, you can buy this algo program or you know whatever. They'll call them quants just to be cool. Um, now, what you're buying is nothing close to the type of intelligence that's put into the professional grade programs. So don't get caught up in the terminology either by you know the inexpensive ones that you can buy at retail. And don't confuse that with a professional grade. It's not even close, doesn't compare. And even the professional grade ones are not working so hot. They ain't doing so good. And then the people who participate on those funds, they think, oh, great, that's all I'll do. I'll take advantage of these guys. They're the smart, they're the smart eggs. And then you got to pay the extra fees. And now you're losing doubly. You're not getting the same market return and you're spending extras in fees. So just want to set the record straight there. Don't get enamored or overwhelmed or think, oh my gosh, I can't compete against that. Um, there's opportunities here to be made in the market still. Absolutely 100%. So if you like um, one of my trade setups that I trade all the time called the rubber band trade. In fact, whenever there's trade setups, I always take it still to this day. It's not an old has been trade. I don't give it away because it doesn't work anymore. I give it away because it does work. And so I want to demonstrate to you actually, you know, it's two things. Number one, I want to demonstrate to you that you can make money with my methodology without any commitment from you other than giving it a good old college try and not charge you anything. And number two, it also would be a test of, well, are you built for trading? Maybe your brain wraps around this stuff real easily, maybe it doesn't. And it'd be good to know that before you make any investment in trading as a career as well. So uh, there you go, just go to rubberbandtrade.com. Again, rubberbandtrade.com. Of course, you can always go over to topdogtrading.com at any time. And uh, any questions you have or any comments you have about this, please put those in the comments below. I would love to hear your responses. Always get some uh, colorful exchanges here, which I welcome, as long as they're intelligent and meaningful. And then also, if you like the value that I'm providing you, please subscribe to the channel. And that way, two things. Number one, you'll get alerted whenever I create a new video. And number two, you'll also be encouraging me to continue to create more content. When I get more subscribers, then that makes me feel like, oh, okay, people still want my stuff, and so I create more free tutorials for you. So just click that subscribe button below, and have a great trading week, everyone.